everybody, it's Margaret, and this is the first um, What I'm Learning About video. Um, as I've said, I'm going through a lot of my grandmother's collections, and there's a lot of things that I'm learning about that I thought I would go ahead and start doing a series to share with you. And the first um, is this Rose Point glass. Now, the reason I chose this first, because as I was going through the boxes, I am separating things out into things I want to keep, things you know, or my family might want to keep, things that I want to sell, or things that I'm going to donate. And at first, I thought about, you know, I thought this might be just something that was like from, you know, anywhere, not something fancy, because I just didn't know anything about it. I thought it was just like a glass bowl. And... And then I came across another one and I thought I'd better stop and, and look it up. And I sent a couple pictures to my mom and she said, yes, I think that's Rose Point. So hang on to that and look it up. So that kind of gave me pause to, to look at things a little more carefully because when I might think that it's something that maybe was picked up at, you know, Pier 1 or something like that, it turns out maybe not. Another thing that made me stop was that it's really thick. So, um... <clears throat> So yeah, so this is called Rose Point Glass, and it was made by the Cambridge Glass Company out of Ohio. And I'm going to scoot to the side so you can see some pictures while I tell you what I found out about it. So here is good old Pinterest. And now keep in mind, this is all internet information. So if I get something wrong and you know better, please let me know. Because like I said, it's the internet. But that's what I got to work with. I don't have antique glass books to go through and things like that. So here is a sort of a sampling of what Rose Point looks like. It's glass that looks like it's been etched with these roses and then on the end, this is going to come in later, you see this sort of medallion look. Let me see if I can show you here. This sort of a crest type medallion that's not like, you know, kind of an embellishment. Um, because as I was doing the research, I found there's a couple other patterns from other companies that look similar, which I, I then I started wondering, oh my gosh, do I have Rose Point here? Because I need to look. So there are tons of different um, styles. Um, the uh, They ended up making lots of different kinds of glasses and bowls and pitchers and divided trays. And I mean, the collection was just ex very extensive. They just seemed to keep adding on to it. Oh, I forgot to tell you when it was made. Um, they started making it in the 30s, 34, somewhere in there, and then they made it all the way in, up into the 50s. So if you find some, um, it's definitely older, you know, 30s to 50s age range. And what else did I want to tell you about it? Oh, okay. So I think one of the reasons that it was so popular is that they marketed it towards um, brides, and the Cambridge Glass Company went into like a collaboration with the Wallace um, Silver Company to make the flatware. And then uh, Pope Gosser, I'm peeking at my notes down here, Pope Gosser China, I think is how you say that. And they came up with a, you know, China pattern to go with it. So I'm going to show you all of those. So one of the things that I found was that one of the reasons it might have done so well was because it was marketed to brides and there was a whole line that they could get the glass, they could get the flatware, the, the, the silver, they could get the china, and they all had the same pattern. So um, let's take a look at some other. So here's a Cambridge Rose Point uh, vase. That's This is giving you some of the pricing ideas. So this one is a bowl for $88.00. Now, if you look at the base of the bowl, it's got a lot of detailing down there. I'll show you my bowl. I have two. So mine is, looks like this. This was another red flag, not a red flag, but like made me stop. Because this one, the base is kind of like a pedestal base. And it's, you know, you can see the seam on it too. You can see where it was. <clears throat> and then the other one I have is a footed ba uh, base. So it's got three little feet down here. Um, so then I started thinking, oh, wait a minute, you know, this is different too because of, because of that. And then the seam in it, you know, it's got that pressed glass. You can see the seam in there rather than, 
I don't know, I guess I do it, I must do it differently now. Um, but this is why I'm learning, right? So, but this one has got a very intricate um, base down there, you know, very pretty. So close that out. And then here I was looking at replacements um, because they have pretty much tons of the different styles. So this gives you a good idea if you're not sure, like I'm gonna go back and look at my bowls because they've got the names of what the glasses are because I don't know the names of all these different glasses. But it's a good place to go look See, juice, glass, parfait, oyster or fruit cocktail glass. I mean, there are tons of pieces out there. If I'm going too fast, tell me. Not that I can hear you, but I'll know for next time. Um, I'm going to scroll down to the, the bowls just to kind of look at all the different pictures, too. All the different pictures. They really went to town on. I mean, because if you are collecting for your, you need a huge china cabinet, though. Come on. <laughs> Look at this ashtray set. That's really neat. Not that I smoke, but I mean, it's a different time. So here's some of the different bowls. Fan shape, crimped, flat cupped, handled bonbon. No, I don't have that one. Um, but the prices look pretty good. So here's a three-toed footed bowl, but mine is not, well, maybe. I mean, it's kind of like that. Does it look kind of like that? I need another view of the edges, but it kind of looks like this one, doesn't it? Ooh, that's not bad. That's a good price. I'm glad I didn't send it out the door. Um, so mine is a three-footed. I don't see any other three-footed now. And then the other one I've got, oh, look, it. there's like 10 pages. Oh, my gosh. I thought it was just the one. <laughs> Woo! They really did go to town making their uh, pattern. So, yeah, there are lots of different Rose Point pieces out there to be on the lookout for. Um, and the prices look like, you know, if you pick it up, it might be worth the, the pickup. One moment, I have to pause. Okay, back. So, yes, as you can see, I mean, all the different candelabras, um, they're just, wow. I'm going to have to really look for my other bowl now. I thought I would just be able to scroll down. <laughs> but this is a good place to go because then you can for sure find the name of the item if you find one. Wow, I am blown away at the amount of rose point there is out there, you guys. I really, look at all the different punch bowls and salad bowls and wow. Okay, all right. I'm just gonna jump to 10 just to see what we're looking at at 10. No image available, oh, you got Cocktail mixer, now we're talking cocktail shaker. Wow, wow, look at that one. Okay, okay, these are out of stock. So this is another option too, especially if you come in here and you find one and then replacements is out of stock on it, you can always contact them because they, from what I understand, buy pieces um, of china patterns and things like that. So that is that. Um, this was just a little bit more that I found, you know, just when I was doing my search. My search, Cambridge Rose Point. This is a divided one. And then let me pull up, you know, I told you that there were some, the collaboration they did. That's what I was going to show you. Here we go. So they went into collaboration with the Wallace Silver Company to create uh, matching patterns. So here is what the flatware looks like. That is the rose point. You can see it's kind of like... Uh, um, hollowed out, and that just reminded me, they, they modeled it on like Belgian lace or something like that. So it's supposed to look like, you know, a lace pattern. So I think that's why it's got this kind of openness to it. Um, and here's another one, if you can, let me see if I can zoom that in for you, where you can see the roses and then it's kind of open. If you happen to come across a piece of it, you know. And then this is the Pope Gosser pattern, um, it's all white, you know, like kind of like white lace. Let me see if I can get a bigger picture for you. So you can see the, you know, roses and it's kind of, is, is that embossed, is that what you say? Or raised um, pattern of the roses. Now, I, when I looked this up first, I found like a rose pattern that was a painted pink. But then when I went to replacements, this is what it is, the white, which is also something I have to look out for because, you know, my grandmother was a China painter and when I see stuff like this, I'm thinking, oh, is it just like some of her unpainted china? So I need to keep an eye out 
you know, that I'm not getting rid of something that I just think is some unpainted china that she had tons and tons of, um, but it might actually be this rose point. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now I'm like, oh boy, you know, some of it's, you know, not a ton, but you know, a salad plate for $23. That's something, a creamer, every little bit, right? And then somebody may be looking for it. Look at this covered butter. It's $129. So something to keep an eye out for. Wish I'd have learned this sooner. Um, and then these are the three, when I was doing the research, that I found that there are a couple other patterns that look similar to rose point. So here you see the rose point, and it's got that kind of medallion on the side. Um, so you can see that. And then it kind of drops down there. I don't know what that is called exactly. Um, but this Tiffin June Night has a different etched pattern. You, don't, you see it does not roses. It's got kind of vines and little flowers and then this sort of oval medallion. Um, so that's a different one. And then this Tiffin Cherokee Rose also has roses, but you can see they're a bit larger. They don't look quite as much like the English type roses. Like here, they almost look like English roses, and these ones look more like, I don't know, they remind me of like the Yellow Rose of Texas, but I, I'm, I'm biased, I guess. <laughs> but you can see, and then the pattern is much larger, the, the flowers are much larger, and these seem a little more delicate. So that's something else I learned. When I saw this, I thought, oh my gosh, I really hope that what I have is actually Rose Point, but if not, you know, that's why we're here, we're learning. So yeah, I, and that's that spoon, or the fork, whatever, um, flatware. So that is what I learned about uh, Rose Point and Cambridge Glass. Uh, main points being that there's a ton of it out there, that it is worth some money if you find some pieces. I don't know how quickly it sells or anything. Um, and that also they did that collaboration with the silver and the plates, um, the china patterns. So that's really interesting information to know. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this what I'm learning video and let me know if you liked it and everything like that and I'm excited to do more because it helps me um, when I'm doing the research and then I feel like I can share it with you so that if you're out there at a garage sale or an estate sale or whatever and somebody doesn't maybe know what they've got and you can pick it up at a thrift store for a dollar then it, it's worth your time to know. Um, and maybe in the back of your mind, it'll just kind of stick there. So yay. All right. So that's this one coming up next. I don't know. <laughs> I have a bunch of thimbles, but I'm not quite sure that's where I'm going to go with this. And you guys, I have been unpacking um, a lot of Cupid dolls. They're like porcelain ones and plastic ones. I mean, she had, my grandmother had a lot of them. So I'm thinking that's coming, but I know there's more because and then I don't know, like, that's the thing. Like, so I know one of them coming up will be about Cupid dolls because I don't know if they're real or how to classify them or are they Cupid dolls or are they called something else or anyway. So that that's one for sure that's coming down the pipeline. But there was something else and I forgot. And you know me and I'll remember it later after we hang up. But then I can't call you back to tell you, hey, I remembered. Um, anyway, OK, OK, this is about a tutorial, not about me not remembering things. All right, so thanks so much, you guys, for following along and learning about Rose Point with me. And if you know anything that I don't know, leave me a comment down below. And find me on Facebook at Texas Gal Treasures. And you guys, make sure to go out and enjoy yourselves. Uh, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.